have just flown into Thailand this evening. I took a taxi from the airport to the bus station, scrambled to get the ticket, and now I'm about to embark on my very first nighttime VIP bus journey, which I'm really excited about because Thai buses are unlike any buses that I've ever traveled in before. And I'm gonna show you why. There's even a blanket. And it comes with your very own built-in friend. It's a video. Now? Right now? Not me. <laughs> this is such an experience. You get a snack and look what the seat does. It goes all the way back. And by the way, yes, I did check with the person behind me and you always check. All right, everyone, today's vlog is a bit different. I wasn't planning on making a video about my trip to Thailand, so I didn't shoot much footage. Most of what you see here was taken on my phone, but it was such a great trip that I wanted to share it with you from Bangkok, Koh Phangan, and Koh Samui all the way to Chiang Mai. So I've put it all together in this slightly strange and confusing, but hopefully fun vlog. Think of it as a little home video from a very special holiday. I hope you enjoy it. All right, we have checked into our hostel, had a bit of beach time, and now I'm doing what is pretty much my favorite thing to do in a new country, exploring a local supermarket. I've already picked up some yellow watermelon. And now I'm looking for a strange drink. That's the one thing I always try and do in a new country. Find pretty much, yep, yeah, something like this, where I'm just like, what even is that? And try it. Some strong contenders here. Or this one is literally called All You Need plus collagen, of course. I'm really ashamed to say that we picked up beauty drink. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I'm just feeling it. I'm gonna add a bit of testosterone to my shop with this lovely man. Just casually walking my shop back home and So we're on our way to a night market, but we chanced upon this place, which is called the Kopangan Food Hall, and it looks amazing. And I'm getting really peckish, but it's closer to our hostel, so I think we'll go to this one tomorrow, and today we're gonna push on and do the night market. Okay, I just bought something called health drink, and there is stuff swimming around inside. I never quite figured out what it was, but I'm curious. It costs 10 baht. What is the worst that could happen? The answer is always death, but hopefully that won't befall us. What we're gonna do today is try and do a tiny bit of cleanup. If you have even 10 minutes spare, it can make a huge difference. So just grab a bag or any kind of container and pick up some trash. We have one hour to sunset and we have found the perfect spot for it. And this is the spot. We have stolen this swing <laughs> from a group of children and we regret nothing. <laughs> oh. How happy are you? How happy are you? <laughs> Just got off the high speed catamaran, which was a bit of a choppy ride, but look where I am right now. We wanted to sit down for some food, so we found a restaurant called Tongkun. And at first I was like, mm, some of the other restaurants maybe looked a bit fancier, but do not go for fancy. Go for like local and traditional because this stuff is so nice. I'm on a mission to find this giant Buddha statue. And this is Wat Phraya, which is the name of the site. And it is really big. I kind of wanted to stop there for a while, but A, Becky's waiting, and B, bitches. Beach time was incredible. Now we are just swinging by the hostel. We're gonna get ready to go out here in this beautiful, lovely alleyway in Fisherman's Village. This is the Bopan Fisherman's Market and there are loads of stalls of souvenirs, but also food. We have been here about an hour Hi. talking to with my new friend, Wynn, who designed everything himself. Yes. We have friendship bracelets now. Good morning, we're at the airport and it might be one of the cutest airports I've ever been to. Look at all that wood and those beautiful chandeliers. This is the airport, we're just waiting for a flight and this is how we're doing it. And now we are leaving Koh Samui and we are off to Chiang Mai in the north. Ooh, that's nice. And the hostels even got this amazing rooftop, which oh, is kind of the reason we picked it. Well, Becky picked it. 
she gets all the credit. She did research for like an hour and I think it paid off. Hey guys, we have a really special guest on the show today. Hi! Elephant Nature Park is a real sanctuary that actually gives home, it gives hope, it gives care to animals, specifically elephants, but also dogs that have been previously abused. Oh, he's just playing. Elephant Nature Park is pretty easy to get to. It's a short drive away from Chiang Mai and they organize daily tours. Now, Elephant Nature Park is not the cheapest of these elephant sanctuaries, but it is the original one founded in 1995 by a lady called Lettie Tyler. She has been fighting for the protection of elephants and other animals for literally decades. First day exploring Chiang Mai. We have already seen a beautiful temple that we didn't know existed. And now we're at Yoi's having delicious, delicious food. There's one spot that everyone was recommending to me for Chiang Mai, and that is a massage parlor that's staffed entirely by ex-offenders. They're women who used to be in prison and are now trying to reintegrate into society. My masseuse, her name was No, was wonderful. My back cracked in places I didn't know it could, um, but I'm feeling very nice and limber. And now we're just on our way back to the hostel, but while we were walking, we came across this beautiful temple. It's called Wat Chiang Man and it's so lush and green and so intricate. Every single one of these temples just has so much detail. It's absolutely blowing my mind. They're beautiful and I'm just so happy to be here. Oh, by the way, I made a friend at the hostel. Hello. Hello, you can follow him or probably don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had a lovely dinner and now we are off to do what? Mai Tai! We're here on the Mai Tai scene in Chiang Mai! Make some noise! It wouldn't be a video about Thailand if I didn't mention the food. The food, you guys! It's so freaking good! When CNN Travel did a poll called World's 50 Best Foods, Thailand had seven dishes on the list. That's more than any other country in the world. Every region of Thailand has a slightly different cooking style. And on this trip, I got to experience two, the South and the North. Some of my favorite dishes were Pad Thai, of course, Somtam or green papaya salad, the humble green curry, mango sticky rice, and khao soy, a Chiang Mai classic, which actually originated in neighboring Myanmar. For me, the best thing about eating out in Thailand is just how popular street food is over there. I love those tiny plastic chairs and how quickly the food comes to the table. I hope you enjoyed this quick trip to Thailand. It really was quick because I had a nine to five job at the time. If I didn't have to go back, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have done. I actually quit my job only a few weeks after coming back from Thailand. So you better believe I'm not joking. Oh. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs>